health extension workers used to receive a monthly allowance of $2,500 during their training. Despite having completed their training almost two years ago, the extension workers say they then started receiving tax certificates. This, they believe, is giving the impression that they owe money to the Ministry of Finance. The trainees were allegedly guaranteed employment upon completion of their training, thus they all have employment codes and have submitted their tax certificates. We have our payslips that shows our monthly incomes of 2,500 and our income tax contribution to the Ministry of Finance. This is evidence enough that we are in the government system as employees in the Ministry of Health and Social Services. The situation is disadvantaging them, they say, as they are always turned away when looking for employment. It makes us to owe Ministry of Finance, here it shows 5,000. And again, with this employment code, we are not allowed to apply to any ministry because we are hanging around at the payroll of the ministries. I was applying uh, to go do malaria control. They sent me back that, gentlemen, you are already on the payroll. If we will employ you, unless you are doing corruption. They say most of their supplies given by the ministry, including medication, have gone to waste, becoming expired without being used. Director of Human Resource of General Services, Celine Usiku, received the petition on behalf of the ministry. And I will make sure your petition reached the leadership of the ministry. And as you have requested, I'm also assuring you that they will respond in due course as per your request. I thank you very much. The Permanent Secretary, Benetus Nangobe, says his ministry is waiting for a response from the Finance Ministry as to why the tax certificates were issued to unemployed health extension workers. There are about 640 health extension workers still unemployed. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Venduk.